Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Silver Star Road State Road 416 public meeting. My name is Martina Paradise, and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations along this segment of Silver Star Road. We encourage your feedback, and there are multiple ways you can provide input on this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448801-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar, or send an email to chuck at valerin-group.com to report it. You may also call GoToWebinar support at 1-833-851-8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project is in Orange County, primarily in the city of Orlando, on Silver Star Road also known as State Road 416. The project begins just east of Princeton Street, State Road 438, and ends at Orange Blossom Trail, also known as US 441. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 448801-1. The recommended improvements we will review tonight are designed to enhance safety for all users, by improving operational conditions and enhancing pedestrian and bicycle connectivity along the corridor. Proposed improvements include repaving the roadway, 
providing access management features to enhance safety at Hansrob Road, installing a new pedestrian crossing at Princeton Street, upgrading signalized intersections and bus stop platforms, and filling sidewalk gaps, and adding bicycle connectivity were possible. We will now walk through an overview of the planned changes along the corridor, starting with the western section of the project. In addition to resurfacing the entire 1.7 mile long roadway segment, FDOT proposes to install a new pedestrian crossing at the intersection of Princeton Street and Silver Star Road. Proposed improvements at the intersection of Silver Star Road and Mercy Drive and Silver Star Road and Eunice Avenue include upgrades to traffic and pedestrian signals, lighting improvements, and reconstructing curb ramps to meet current American with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Sidewalk construction is proposed to fill gaps where possible along the south side of Silver Star Road near Mercy Drive. In addition, designated bicycle lanes with turn lane keyholes are proposed between Mercy Drive and Regent Avenue. Proposed designated bicycle lanes will continue through the east segment of the project through Regent Avenue. The most significant change proposed within this segment of the project corridor is the installation of a new traffic separator at Silver Star Road and Hansrob Road, which we will examine in more detail in just a moment. Sidewalk construction is also proposed to fill a gap along the south side of Silver Star Road between Deneen Avenue and Regent Avenue. FDOT is evaluating additional improvements along the corridor, including narrowing travel lanes to provide additional width for bicycles and to enhance driver engagement, as well as minor drainage improvements throughout the project limits. Now, let's take a closer look at some of the proposed improvements for this corridor. As previously mentioned, a new pedestrian crossing is proposed at the intersection of Silver Star Road and Princeton Street. This crosswalk will be constructed with a bulb out to provide a pedestrian refuge where eastbound and westbound lanes diverge. It will also serve to provide a connection to the existing sidewalk along westbound Princeton Street. In addition to traffic signal, pedestrian signal, and lighting upgrades, Proposed improvements at the intersection of Silver Star Road and Mercy Drive include providing bicycle lanes by realigning the travel lanes and raised traffic separator, restriping the crosswalks, and filling in sidewalk gaps to enhance pedestrian safety. Proposed intersection enhancements also improve visibility of opposing traffic or vehicles turning left from Silver Star Road. Safety improvements are planned to reduce the chances for left turn and angle crashes near the intersection of Silver Star Road and Hansrob Road, just east of John Young Parkway. Currently, this section of Silver Star Road has one travel lane in each direction and an unrestricted center two-way left turn lane. Conflicts between vehicles turning into the driveways and side streets near the intersection have resulted in numerous crashes. A basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points, or points along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross, but just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. One way to limit conflict points is by minimizing the number of driveways and median openings and restricting certain movements at some median openings. FDOT is proposing to convert the center two-way left turn lane at Hansrob Road into an extended westbound left turn lane for the signalized intersection at John Young Parkway. Plans also include the installation of a raised concrete traffic separator or restrictive median along with the channelizing islands and Hansrob Road and the Wawa driveway. These proposed changes will restrict left turns onto Silver Star Road, thereby reducing the number of conflict points and improving safety in this area. 
Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in summer 2024 at an estimated cost of $1.1 million. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is currently funded for the fall of 2024 and has an estimated cost of $3.97 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by June 5th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or a question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448801-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at martina.paradise at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5466 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 448801-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Monday, June 5, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project, forward slash 448801-1. Have a good evening.